Lang Peak in Canmore. So this one is about 800 meters and about 7.5K long. So we are, I would say, at the halfway point or pretty close. We have Mount Rundle behind me back there. That is my summer goal this year. It was my summer goal last year, but this whole area was closed and it just reopened last week. So I'm very excited to be on this trail again. This is my third time doing it. And guess what? I forgot my poles again. So this is gonna be interesting coming down, but I will update you guys when we get closer to the top. My own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles Profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries And watch me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room my world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright Hush
guys, welcome to my after hike summary for Hauling Peak. I feel like this is one of my more recent hikes. I am not used to being caught up on my hiking content, but I literally have one more hiking video to film after this one and I'm all caught up, which is crazy. It also means that I haven't gone hiking in a hot minute. The weather hasn't been very great for hiking recently and working a full-time nine to five makes it a little bit more complicated because before if the weather was good during the week i could go hiking on a random wednesday in the middle of the week or you know like a thursday or something but now i can't do that anymore so it makes things a little bit tricky when the weather is crappy during the weekend but i did this one a couple weeks ago and i did this on february 18th to be exact the distance of this one is 7.5k with an elevation gain of 731 meters now i did this before on my channel this is my third time hiking hauling but there's only one other hiking video for hauling on my YouTube channel from last year. So I went right before they closed hauling to improve the parking. And then I just went now when they reopened. There's not too much of a difference based on how the trail was other than there was an insane amount of people there. The parking lot was pretty much almost full by the time we got there and the trail was packed it was packed with so many people but the trail itself was in really good condition because everything was packed down based on how much traffic and how many people were on that trail it makes sense however it is a little bit crazy because i went the week after it reopened again and if you think about it the trail hasn't been touched in what like a year it snowed a whole lot but then there was that much foot traffic on the trail that it was already packed down a week later it's crazy but i do thoroughly enjoy this trail this one is definitely very nostalgic for me because it was one of the first hikes that i've ever done it was my second mountain my first one was yamnuska hauling was my second and my third was sulfur so this is a really special mountain to me it's one of my favorite hikes and it really definitely shows how much i've improved in my activity level throughout the years i found this one really insanely hard the first time i did it as my second hike and my second mountain it was so difficult and now doing it again for the second and third time two years in a row back to back in the winter I have definitely found that I've improved and this hike is no longer hard for me, but it is definitely still a great workout to get to the top and the views are amazing. This time around, we didn't quite make it to the actual summit, but I have made it there two times in the past, but this time around, it was just so windy and miserable out. I think it was like minus 20. It was minus 20 when I did it last year, but I feel like I was a little bit warmer last year this time around like it was really really cold and a lot of people just made it to the saddle like where the ridge is and then they headed back down and we basically did the same thing we snapped a couple photos there not too much and I don't know how my talking footage even turned out i may have even put music over it because it was so windy that it would just be rude to like put it up on this video and have me like try to talk through the wind like it just it wouldn't work so i'm sure i probably did put music over that portion but i think you can tell from that clip how windy it was it was insane we definitely popped out the hand warmers the foot warmers and everything like that it was a crazy experience would i do it again yes i do want to go all the way to miner's peak next time this is an objective that i still haven't gotten to the first time that i came back to this hike which was last year i really wanted to make it to miner's peak but it was also minus 20 that day we literally like touched the summit took a few photos and then headed back down and it was mostly the same this time around it was way too cold to go up to miner's peak but i think that will be a great summertime objective and i think that i definitely want to do this hike again i want to it's definitely like a canmore classic this is a lot of people's go-to hike in this area and you can tell because it's a really popular popular trail but i do want to do this in the summertime again i want to do this as a summer 
sunrise hike i think that would be really really beautiful so yes i will definitely come back to this one i do recommend it i think if your activity level is moderate you'll find this one you know a pretty good workout if you are a beginner hiker I don't honestly suggest this one because of my experience the first time I did this hike. It was really, really difficult for me. And I know that one of my friends wanted to do this with me on the day that we went, but I was like, you know, this is your second hike. I don't recommend doing something this hard right off the bat. There isn't any scrambling. There isn't any technical bits of this one. It is a very, very straightforward hike. And I do highly recommend this one. Also, something to note, if you do travel this way in the winter, there is some avalanche zones with signs near the base of Hauling. There is signs that warn you though to not stop. So make sure you are safe during that portion of the hike. Don't go on any days where there's insane weather changes or anything like that. I don't recommend doing it on those days. But other than that, this is a great hike and I highly recommend it. And you will be seeing another video of it this summer, I'm sure. So I will see you guys in my next video. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. And that is it for this one. Bye. Her friend's really nice and will most likely give her one pool. Just FYI. <laughs> she doesn't want her to die just yet. I need you to go hide.